National team exits the World Cup again. How do I resolve this? Everybody hates me. Unemployment is going down, which is good. Situation is imminent. I think it's going to be okay. We're dropping down a little again because our sales tax have dropped. We've still got a good surplus there, which is good. So our credit rating is awesome. Okay, now let's have a look. So we've got a fair bit here. We wanted to really up the petrol tax. Wow, they want a lot for it. Huh? It really doesn't do much to the car usage, does it? It really does very little. Well, let's apply it either way. Is there anything else we can look at over here? National Armed Forces Week. Everybody is going to love it. Let's implement it. Get people to like it, like us a little bit more. No diesel tax, please. No, we're going to have to. We're going to have to. We need people to stop using a diesel emission scandal. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> Wasn't this VW? A scandal has been exposed revealing that many of the largest and most prestigious car companies in our country have been blatantly lying about the emissions from their diesel vehicles in a deliberate and very pr profitable scheme to cheat the official tests. How should the police handle this incredibly high profile case? Play down the importance of the case? This case is being blown out of proportion. Fines can be issued and the cars can be retested and given revised emission numbers. A few um, over-enthusiastic engineers bent the rules a bit too much, but this is hardly anything new. Imprison the chief executives of, uh, if possible. Um, there can be no doubt here that the people at the very top of these companies knew exactly what was going on. And we have to be 100% clear that here in Germany, the law applies equally to everyone. It's not, uh, it will not be popular with business owners, but to preserve our international reputation, we have to make an example of these cheats. Wow, I think I'm going to make an example of them. Capitalists is the problem. Environmentalists, on the other hand, they love us. Business confidence dropped in the boat. But foreign relations went up and we are working on that at the moment, so that's not bad. Our surplus is coming back up, so that's good. Good to see. Global economy is currently in recession. But our debt is going down. Wow, global economy is pretty, pretty bad. But we've done a pretty decent job at continuously dropping our debt. We're uh, just over the one trillion mark still. Okay, it's looking good. As long as the green line stays above the red line, I'm happy. Okay. Not everybody is very happy with us. Okay, can we, let's see. Other environmental issues. So from a wealthy perspective, that's not necessarily public service. Okay, let's have a look here. From a public service view, is there anything here that can further improve our environmental situation? Compulsory Food Lamb Climate Change Adaption Fund. Yeah, and unemployment goes down. I think we should do that. Climate Change Adaption. Wow, that's a that's a pricey one. Really pricey. I think we're going to do it. It's really pricey. We can't really afford much more than that. Uh, what are this married tax allowance? What? Why would you get? Why would you get money from us? I want to repeal this. I think that's about right. I want to repeal this completely. How, how much richer is just to cancel it? It's 13. I'm going to cancel this altogether next time around. Definitely going to cancel it altogether. Tourism ad campaign. Business startups. Law and order. Right to privacy. Drug enforcement agency. 
They don't necessarily need any of that. Liberals, liberalism, GDP. Yeah, let's grab a little bit of that. Spend some money on, on tourism ad campaigns. Okay, let's move it along. So next time around, I'm gonna repeal this tax. Oh, I mean, this subsidy. Unemployment is still going down. The air earth crisis is coming up. Foreign relations, we're working on foreign relations. Um, DNA database, there's an urgent policy question that requires your immediate attention. Police chiefs are requesting that they be allowed to build an, uh, up a global database of everyone's DNA to assist them in fighting crime. DNA evidence allows many previously unsolvable crimes to be tracked to the perpetrators, although there are privacy concerns. Allow the database. This is uh, likely to be an invaluable weapon in the fight against crime. For too long, criminals have been able to deny responsibility for their crimes. And with DNA evidence, you can substantially cut police time used to locate criminals, such as murderers and rapists. Unless people have something to hide, they can't possibly oppose such a measure. Prevent the database. This is a fundamental breach of our citizens' human rights. We have to maintain an individual's presumption of innocence till proven guilty. And building up a Big Brother-style database of everyone makes us feel like criminals. Are we really going to force our citizens to provide DNA samples um, to the state for uh, or face jail? No, we're not going to do that. Criminal um, only database. Let's take a practical approach. DNA taken from suspects can be held indefinitely on a police database, but there should be no widespread collection of innocent people's DNA unless they are charged with offense. I think we're going to go with the criminal only database. Um, not really winning. Not really winning. Ooh, our, we've got less than a billion in surplus at the moment. But hopefully now we are in fact um, improving this situation again. Have a look at the environment. Slowly going up. So going up. Okay, I wanted to repeal this thing. Cancel the policy of married tax allowance. Because that costs us a lot of money. No need for us to uh, to allow that that policy. Backer usage. I don't think we need to tax that even more. Airline taxes. Yeah, I like this because that air travel is definitely a thing. Let's do that. Let's apply those changes. Tax the airlines a little bit more. What is this? And Sunday shopping. No way. I need to take uh, take this out. I'm going to cancel this one as well. Uh, cancel the policy with 15. So next time around, we'll cancel that one. That's going to have a, a appropriate impact on our GDP as well. Is there anything else here from an environmental perspective? Social justice. Uh, we can do that. Great councils, young entrepreneur schemes, law and order. Uh, maybe social justice. Okay, let's apply that. Okay, unemployment is still going down, so we're doing the right thing. Dubious role model, a high ranking official. <clears throat> that you handpicked as praised a notoriously extreme dictator in one of their speeches. They may have slain millions of innocent people during their rule, but they had some interesting ideas about state infrastructure. Oh my goodness. I don't know why this stuff keeps happening to me. Multinational tax, I think we're okay with that at the moment. We have a small surplus of 8 billion again, and we're still dealing with unemployment, so that's pretty good, or that's going down. Okay, uh, I wanted to ban uh, repeal this thing. 
Ban Sunday shopping. Let's cancel the policy. All together. Now, let's see. What else do we have here? Youth politics, stamp out the racism stuff, racial tension, liberalism. Yeah, let's imp implement that. Good, and foreign relations, the national trade. Citizenship tests. Seems to be okay, we don't necessarily need to move anything there. So, is, is there currently a ban on Sunday shopping in, in, in Germany? It feels, I'm not sure about that, right? Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe very selective bans. How's this respiratory thing going? We're very close to figuring that one out. Oh, you mean yes, there is a ban? Wow, okay. Did not know. Adult education subsidies are already pretty high. I don't think we need to up those numbers at all. What is this, free school meals? Yeah, we're already providing that. Anything else here for the economy? Trade councils, international trade and foreign relations. I think let's do that. We, we are working on that uh, foreign relations. Okay, good. Still we have poverty and unemployment. It still needs to go down. Okay, whistleblower, there is an urgent policy question. A secret service contractor, again, this is a well-known story, has leaked several documents that shed a light on the dark side of the war on terror. Should we prosecute her and do everything we can to bring her to justice, or should we reform the secret service and stop making use of the malpractices she accuses us of? You prosecute? Even the accusations we are facing are true, we have to protect national interests. The public might not understand why we have to rely uh, to these methods in the war on terror. But the end justifies the means. The reform of the Secret Service and the practice made public by Stacey Walker are indeed unworthy of a developed nation. We have to abstain from such methods um, in the future and thank Stacey for demonstrating the civil courage still exists. I think that's the one we should do. I think that's the one. Let's reform. Patriots don't like it. Liberals and foreign relations are awesome, which is the right thing for us to do considering that imminent situation that we had there. Okay, let's go ahead. We still have a pretty good surplus going on. Our debt is slowly dropping as we keep going. Okay, from a transport perspective, I wouldn't mind bringing in some more of these things. Driverless car laws. I think let's, uh, let's save up on our political capital a little bit. And see if we can uh, can use to some of those things. I think we're going to get respiratory disease sorted out soon. And then it's just this gig uh, economy, which I don't think we're going to ever deal with. Okay, respiratory di disease. Um, from the health front, doctors are happy to report that respiratory illness levels have dropped significantly. Excellent, that's great. But now we've got the rare earth crisis which is costing us a lot of stuff. Uh, our technological advantage, however. Yeah, our foreign relations is going up big time. But I'm not sure it's good enough. Trade agreement, okay. A group of Western countries has established an initiative to set up a new trade agreement regulating tariffs, quotas, and other trade restrictions. This contract should help to prevent emerging countries from catching up and secure worldwide economic dominance at the expense of the global of global equality. Signed the agreement. Our economy is under stress from new players in the market. We have to tie closer bonds with old friends in order to emerge victorious um, in this new hostile economic environment. Refuse to sign the agreement. This agreement would support our economy at the expense of global fairness. It is not the time to just think about ourselves, but to welcome the new players in the global theater with open arms. I think we're gonna go with that one. We're gonna refuse. Liberals like it, foreign relations are going up big time. Ooh, capitalists are not enjoying it. We still have a pretty decent um, surplus at the moment. It's been good, it's been very good. 
Can we deal with uh, more? Uh, can we deal better with unemployment? Is the question. It is the question. We really need to deal with that a little bit better. Um, so foreign relations. We can obviously push that up with some more foreign aid. So maybe let's do that. Let's add a little bit more foreign aid to the mix. Yeah, maximum foreign aid is going to be very helpful for our relationships there. Patriots are not going to love it though, but the liberals are. So it's okay, we'll deal with it. Want to add toll roads to the mix of it, yeah? So commuters and capitalists in like it, motorists don't. Car usage goes down, traffic congestion goes down, equality goes down a little bit. I think it's okay. Let's uh, let's apply that and see if that helps us a little bit more. The environment, if I have a look at it over here, should be on the way up, Ooh, but very slowly though. Very very slowly. Um, our technological oh, this is high productivity. Let's continue to go up. Our technological advantage Ooh, has dropped big time. The rare earth crisis is costing us a lot. Uh, one thing that I'll have a look at over here to see if we can. Um, the secularity of education, let's, ooh, we can't move that, but if we could move that, that could help us out a little bit more. Okay, let's uh, save some of our political capital and move on and see what's going on. Housing market boom. House prices have hit a record high. This is a good um, indication that our economy is going from strength to strength. Everyone is making money and able to fulfill their aspirations of growing their property portfolio. Some hawkish economists see this as a temporary bubble, uh, waiting to burst, but most are making hay while the sun shines. So the wealthy likes the generational wealth gap is going up. Socialism in the poor is a bit of a problem. Campaign speeches we can do, um, situation imminent. Is this going up again? No, this one is okay. Multinational tax evasion seems to be um, just fine. We still have a surplus going on. Okay, that's good. What did I, I wanted to do some of our more extreme measures, I think. Oh, this one. Wow, we need a lot to get that all the way over here. I want to get the technological advantage piece for this. So I'm going to continue to bear that in mind. Are we managing to move this in the right direction? Not at all. How's our foreign relations going? Should be boosting big time. We're at the top there with our foreign relations. So really, we need to drop down. Wow, that's an interesting one. I have no idea how we should deal with this. The rare earth crisis. Rare earth metals are necessary for a wide range of high-tech products. Prices of these elements have risen significantly, leading to supply bottlenecks and black markets. This crisis has significant impact on the productivity and our economy. I don't really know how we deal with that. It's really a bit of a challenge for me. Border wall. Uh, drone strikes, foreign investment restrictions. National service. State housing, child care provision. Must anybody love this? Synthetic meats. No one likes this. Interfuel subsidies. No, let's go with child care provision. Let's add a little bit there for us. Wow, 8 billion. And capitalists don't like it. I don't know really why, but unemployment. Yeah, so let's uh, let's grab this one. We'll just go mid range there. Maybe just fine. Is there a way to invade um, have other countries and get the resources? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's not that kind of game. Nuclear fission. Uh, so ultimately, hmm. 
and that's interesting. I would, wouldn't mind moving on this a little bit more, reducing our oil demand. But the environmentalist doesn't like it, so maybe we just leave it as is. Anything over here that we should have a look at? Public service. Free parenting classes, gender equality, transport, law and order, right to privacy. Now, I don't necessarily know we need to miss, make, make any big moves here. But okay for now, let's see what we're getting. We're not uh, dealing with uh, with unemployment enough, I think. We'll have to have a look at that in a little bit more detail. Religious symbols in schools. There is pressure for us to introduce a law to ban the wearing of religious symbols in state schools by students. This would include wearing the hijab by female Muslim students and the wearing of a cross by Christian students. The school is a place for children to learn, not to display religious allegiance. By ensuring all students dress the same, we can ensure there is equality and integration of all religions with no discrimination. This is the logical extension of the separation of religion and state. People are free to dress how they like in churches and mosques, but not in schools. Um, then reject the ban. This is nothing short of discrimination against Muslims. Nobody really expects this law to be used to prevent the wearing of Christian crosses. It exists purely as an excuse to ban Muslim students from dressing um, as they wish. This will cause division and segregation and is a recipe for religious tension in schools. Uh, I do tend to agree actually and given our liberal uh, tendencies and how we run this government, we're going to say we're going to reject this ban. What? That's quite interesting. I thought liberals would have would have allowed I can understand, wow, that's a weird one. You quite go the way I thought it would go in terms of who likes it and who doesn't. Got some uh, manifesto promises that we can make. Not sure we're going to do any of those. The environment is, yeah, up, upwards going, going upwards, that's fine. I'm still worried about the rare earth stuff. Yeah, and that's just going to keep going. And that is unfortunately going to take out our competitive advantage. Oh, no, we managed to we managed to turn it around. Okay, that is good. Good news. That is really good news there. Okay, excellent. We turned it around in the end there. This guy really doesn't like us. But wow, we've got good good numbers there. Okay, now. Oh, the one I wanted to work on was this nuclear fission thing. Where's the nuclear, nuclear stuff? There it is. Tiny little piece over there. Okay, so nuclear fission is arguably a renewable source of energy which dramatically reduces CO2 emissions and reduces oil and gas demand, but can be expensive to produce and comes with problems concerning waste and decommissioning. Environmentalists tend to prefer wind and solar in energy instead. Yeah, so maybe we shouldn't necessarily go for nuclear because it's going to be costly and it's not going to do that much to us. The oil demand is going to drop, the environment is not going to like it, but we will see a little bit of a boost in technology and GDP. And maybe a drop in CO2 emissions. So we're kind of wondering if we should just extend life over here. doesn't actually make much of a change until we start getting all the way over here. Go nuclear. Full on nuclear? Yeah, maybe we can do that. I think that, let's do it. Let's go full on nuclear. Generous subsidies. Okay, um, now, what is next? We can leave a little bit of this capital in place. Mostly food labeling. State Postal Service.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't like that. I mean, it's it's not the future. Let's go with organ donations. I think that's that's a good one for us to grab. Health and life lifespan. The religious don't like it. Let's apply it anyway, I think. Yeah, let's leave the rest, keep keep that in mind and see how it goes. Okay, it's time for another election. Let's see what's going on. Start the count. People are loving us. Chaos United. And more people are voting, actually. No one has voted for the other parties. Which is the best? Breakdown, changes. Bus usage went up good. Crime has gone down. Traffic congestion has gone down. Alcohol consumption has gone down. Violent crime has gone down. Lifespan has gone up by 42%. Tobacco usage down by 41%. Unemployment down by 40%. Foreign relations up by 40%. Plant-based diets up. Car usage down. GDP up. Currency strength up. Private pensions up. Racial tensions down. Gender equality up. Food price down. Telecoms industry. Productivity. Immigration. Electricity. The car transition is up and CO2 emissions are down almost 20, 22%. Tourism up, health up, healthcare demand is down, stability is up, poor earnings is up, air travel is down, oil prices down, technology up, high earnings, foreign investment and energy efficiency up. Corruption and immigration is down, that's excellent. Population, wages, legal drug consumption. Human development is up, oil supply is down, democracy, cryptocurrency adoption, industrial automation, um, automation and private schools are up, well, you, rail usage is down, wow, didn't know about that one, didn't even think about that. Uh, water industry up, equality down, really, the national trade down, average temperatures down, which I think is a good thing. Working week is down, only marginally. Oil demand is up a little bit. Internet speed is up, going up slowly though. Middle earnings, business confidence up, private housing, the environment up, but only barely. But, but that was pretty bad. But anyway, our environment up now is pretty good. Generational wealth gap. So is there a way we could improve equality a little bit? Selective schooling. Subsidize the best schools, huh? Liberals don't like it. The capitalists don't like it. No, let's uh, revert the changes and keep that. I'm not sure that's the one, the way we go. Let's begin the next term. Okay, now, could, do we reshuffle some of these? Someone here really doesn't like us. Uh, public services guy. Religious capitalists. Do we get rid of him? I think so. He's the only one that's really bad. Let's get rid of him. Public services. So let's uh, get someone new for public services. 1.9, religious and retired, that's not going to be um, helpful to us. Public services over here, retired and socialist, poor, um, self-employed and poor. That's not too bad. Religious and retired. Because he is a religious capitalist, so even him should be liking us a little bit more. Religious and retired. Maybe we'll uh, go with this one for the time being. Give us a little bit more to go on. Cluster bomb ban. An engineering company in our country has just won a contract to manufacture and supply cluster bombs for foreign countries. At the moment, there is no specific law that prohibits company from taking these products or making these products. But there is a widespread public debate that we should ban the production of cluster bombs within our borders. Cluster bombs, uh, ban cluster bombs. Cluster bombs cause so many civilian deaths um, that there really is no way we should condone the manufacture of such weapons. They are cruel weapon and there is no justification for their use today. If banning these weapons costs us 
a handful of jobs, then that's the price we should be happy to pay. Uh, reject the law, it's very easy to say we should ban the manufacture of cluster bombs, but what next? Stop making guns, handcuffs? This would uh, be a step towards dismantling our whole arms industry, which would cost jobs and hurt investor confidence. It's not the job of the state to interfere with products, companies, manufacturers. Um, I do tend to kind of agree with that one, just from our capitalist nature. Uh, we should uh, try and reject that law um, for the time being and see what happens. The liberals don't like it, but the capitalists do. I think we can take that hit on the liberal side of things. We still have a small surplus and unemployment still needs to be um, reduced even further. What can we do to further, um, uh, oh, so the childcare provisions are helping quite a lot to reduce that. Um, okay, I think there's a few things. So unemployment is actually on the way up again. Okay, we need to find something here. We go in here, have a look, and say public services, three parenting classes, I think. Some of those kind of things is, is probably good. Drug treatment schemes. Gender equality. Anything else? National anthem at the start of the news? Don't quite like that. National anthem in schools. Wow. Law and order, gated communities. I don't think we need have any law and order issues. Anti-corruption agencies. Flags on every street corner. Quite an interesting one. Public police drones, legal aid, legal aid, liberals, socialists, poor earnings, poor inequality. Legal aid, I think, is a is a good one. We need to go proportionate fines. The fine is to, uh, is no deterrent to antisocial behaviour at all if it does not scale with uh, with income. What may be colossal and finances wrecking, uh, finances wrecking penalty for some is a mere inconvenience to the ultra wealthy. By making all fines scale with income, the law can finally be applied equally to all. Is that fair? Wow, that's a, that's an interesting one. Not aware of that, that option. Transport, um, I do think school vouchers, is that going to reduce poverty? What's the stuff that reduces unemployment? Capitalist, socialist, productivity, socialist, unemployment, yeah. If we get out of here and we'll go and have a look um, at some of the stuff that we have here. Executive term length is four years, but I believe I can continue going. Yeah, executive term limit is, um, is none. There's no limit. University grants. I think there's some other stuff here. Techno technology colleges. Social Justice Foundation. Where is the... Um, oh, this one. I think this one. Adult um, Education Subsidies. Let's maximize that one. And let's go back into welfare over here. State housing. Poverty reduction, but not necessarily unemployment. We need to have a look at that. A little bit more detail. Public tax returns. Wealthy, the liberals don't like it. Corruption, equality, and socialists. I do like the idea of boosting, um, boosting equality a little bit. Now let's not do that now. Let's keep keep a hold on these on these things, and we'll go. Again, tons of garbage. Um, we've already had this one. Again, more issues. Multinational tax? No, I think that one's going to be fine. It's not going to take ages to do anything. A small deficit for the first time in ages, actually. Poverty is going up. We need to solve that. Okay, so if we go here, 
all kinds of taxes that we can apply. Law and order. I don't think we need to do any of this. <laughs> Torture. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Uh, legal aid. Public services. Free eye test. Force. Force military police. What? A religious oath? Wow. How about that? State health service. School vouchers. Compulsory language lessons. Foreign relations immigration goes up. I'm just thinking, where can we get three parenting classes? I think is about is about the right one for us to do. School vouchers is one that could help us out a little bit. Drop poverty a little. The quality goes up. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this one. School vouchers. Everyone's income will go up. Cost is a billion at least. Probably way more. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's not quite the right one for us to, get, to go with. Foreign policy. Welfare. One child policy. Wow. Universal basic income. Capital is done like it. Poverty is reduced. Socialism goes up. Charity goes down. Social ways, everybody. Um, okay, let's have a look at this. Some of our economy pieces. Green Electronics Initiative. Ooh, I like that. That's actually very good. Why haven't we seen this one before? Mandatory micro generation. That's very good too. Should have uh, hang, hung out here a little bit more. Let's get the green, um, that, that one, green electronics initiative. Yeah, absolutely. So the goal of the green electronics initiative is to reduce the ele uh, electronic waste from cleaner mining operations to upcycling projects and broad array of measures should make um, the digital world a cleaner place. I think I like that. Let's apply that. That sounds really good to do. Okay, now let's see, can we bring in... Let's grab the free parenting classes as well. Help people out a little bit more. Um, and I want to see if I can add maybe a tax on something here. Mortgage tax relief. What does this actually do? That cost us a lot of money. Now I don't think I need to bring in additional taxes at the moment. Let's just see how that goes. I think we'll try and deal with this one now. Hopefully we can bring that down again. Everything else seems to be pretty good. Um, if we go over here, unemployment is still pretty high. Is there anything else we can do to really drop that down? I can't really see. All of it is kind of doing a little bit of bits and pieces. State schools does a lot. Unemployment benefit. Should we reduce the unemployment benefit? That will drop poverty again. What is the unemployment benefits that we're dealing with over here? Quality work for the unemployed. Uh, social care. That's pretty low. Wealthy Fraud Department. I'm happy to up that a little bit more. Okay, good stuff over there. Um, where's the other... Rent controls, pretty high. Alcohol Awareness. Like pensions, unemployment benefits. Um, so if we drop this, unemployment will reduce. That will like us even more. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna drop that to around there. See if we can. Uh, unemployment will drop. Let's apply that and see how that goes. So let's reduce our benefits. Okay, let's uh, move it along and see where we're up to. Didn't did hardly make any moves here. How is our uh, looking small deficit only? That's good. Positive discrimination is urgent policy. Okay, there are calls for law to expressly set quotas for the employment of ethnic um, and other minorities by large corporations and government institutions. This would put pressure on companies to give higher priority to some job candidates than others on the basis of their race, sex or age. We need this law. In economic terms, it makes no sense for people uh, below or above a certain age to be rendered unemployable. Also, in human rights terms, this is much needed compensation for years of discrimination um, in the workplace against ethnic minorities, women and the elderly. We reject the law. This is deeply flawed law. It makes no sense to fight discrimination by using discrimination. It creates two problems. That of the minority members who feel they may not have achieved the position on merit and the resentment of potential employees who have uh, who was denied the job. Yes, I'm going to reject the law. Oh, some hydrates coming in. Thank you so much. Ooh. Wow. Interesting that liberals um, really had an issue with this. Okay, good to know. Some hydrates coming in, excellent. Um, I'll grab a few of them, thank you. Ah, excellent, thank you. Okay, now, let's uh, <clears throat> continue. Ooh. Getting to the, to the end of the stream, next 20 minutes or so. Okay, what else can we move on? I think this one is probably moving out in the right direction now. Yeah, we've turned it around, which is great. Very great to see. Uh, this is steady. Private space industry, awesome. Unemployment is still pretty high um, and we're trying to reduce it again now. And then poverty is going up a little bit. So we really need to um, see what we can do to deal with poverty a little bit more. Can we provide better health care or anything like that maybe? Recycling, we're already doing what we can. Any new ideas here? Limit or ban cars in, um, in cities. Driverless car laws, let's see what this is all about. Driverless car technology is booming. The manufacturers are encouraging the government to allow their use on public roads. Motors love it, technology goes up, industrial automation goes up, computers goes up, capitalists love it. I think we're gonna do it. I'm, uh, I'm pro driverless cars. Let's apply that. That's pretty good. It was a pretty, uh, pretty lots of political capital uh, necessary for that move. Okay, we're doing it little by little at the moment. Hopefully, um, that will drive our unemployment down as well in the long run. This isn't moving at all. Uh, what is that? Don't know what that is. Be a little bit of a glitch there. I don't know what we selected, but for some reason we've got um, some GDP stuff, but the environmentalists don't like it. Unemployment went down. Ooh, oil demand went down. I'm not sure what it was, or what it was supposed to be. Okay, yes, the Earth crisis is moving in the right direction. This thing, I think we're never going to sort that out, but I don't think it matters too much. Capitalists like it. Okay, what else do we need? we need? We really need to deal with poverty. What can we do to deal with poverty? So go under welfare, but actually let's stimulate the economy instead. City farms, 
from the silly rare earth metal mining. Okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, mandatory micro generation. I think this is the one for us. Let's do that. Space program. Unemployment. What's that going to cost us? Pretty pricey though. I think we should do something like that actually. Space program. Let's run the space program. Four billion. Patriots will love it. I think that's okay. Strong leader. Unemployment is going to reduce. Religious membership is going to go down. I do like the idea of this one. Let's apply this one at uh, just like that number. Four billion. We're going to have to keep an eye on our um, on our funding now. I mean, our, our deficit. Uh, okay, so we've got a minor deficit of about 3.4 billion, so we really need to sort that out. Uh, we're still not seeing any reductions and moves here. Actually, maybe that one is turning into the right direction slowly. Poverty is... Yeah, we need to deal with it. Extradited hacker convicted. Wow, cyber warfare down, crime down, like it, I like it. Major donors abandon the party. And then we've got a real estate bubble, uh oh. Our data is showing um, that we will potentially have a bad situation soon. Rent controls is what we put in last time to, to deal with that. Wow, real estate bubble. GDP is causing it population, causing it rent controls. We've got maximum rent control, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to deal with that at all. I think, I think we should see about maybe adding an extra tax now. Let's quickly have a look. Um, in terms of taxes, into homes taxes. A tax levied on homes that are mostly left empty, generally second homes owned by the wealthy and used for a month or two each year. Popular in the rural communities where wealthy buyers from other regions push up property prices, meaning that many young people and less well-off cannot afford to buy at all. So I think this might help out with those um, with, with that bubble, that property price bubble. Alternatively, maybe a mansion tax. No, let's go with empty home tax. The youth retired, capitalists don't like it, farmers like it, wealthy socialism. I'm hoping that'll deal with it a little bit. Let's apply just at, a, at, at that middle range there, the medium one. Apply it and see where it goes. Hopefully that helps it out a little. Okay, let's move it on. Unemployment is still not happening. Hi Doc, welcome. We're, uh, we're in the last, into the last 10 minutes. Ooh, this is gonna, yeah, we need to maybe look at some other taxes, but coming back in there. How's your country? It's going pretty well. I mean, we're running Germany smoothly, very smoothly. We're very, we're very popular. To a certain extent, I do feel that this game might be a little too easy at the moment, but obviously it's still an alpha, so there's still a lot of balancing that may happen, or that probably will happen. Okay, extra terror suspect. Middle East country with uh, which we have no formal extradition treaty has requested that the extraditing immigrant living here to um, them to face charges of terrorism. They accuse him of being responsible for car bombings in the capital city, but the only evidence they have of this is the confessions of other terror suspects which may have been made under duress. I don't think we can extradite him because based on that, if we extradite this man, there is a chance he will face the death penalty. So let's not do that now. Uh, liberals love it. That's good. Okay, good call there. Still got a little bit of a deficit, but we're not too bad. I wouldn't mind. Oh, the actually the global economy is going up. 
So we should be generating more money then. Interesting. It's an interesting one. It's a very interesting one. Okay, let's... Um, yeah, I do wish we can clear this thing out a little bit quicker. We're still trying to deal with unemployment as best we can. It's a slow move downwards. Poverty. Yeah, it's slow. Slow. Is there anything else we can do to slowly start dealing with it? National Business Councils. Well, let's do that one. Seems fairly reasonable. Rural Development Grants. Hmm, car usage though. Well, usage. Farmers memberships. Small business grants. That's going to be very popular. Let's uh, bring in small business grants at 4 billion. Hopefully it boosts the GDP enough to, uh, to give us more money. Apply that. How is the GDP looking, by the way? If we look at this, GDP um, seems to be at the top, but I'm not sure we can get it any higher than that, though. So we'll have to see if that actually does anything for us. Uh, government subsidies for, for unions, foreign investor tax breaks. Too much, too much going to cause it. Rural development grants. I'm going to grab this one also, put that in the middle also. There's a lot of spending going on now for us to reduce our unemployment rates. But this is going to hopefully stimulate our GDP a little bit. Apply those changes. Let's see where that goes. Oh, no, there we go. We got the real estate bubble. Now we're going to see some immigration, high earnings, qualities going down. Mm, it's not the end of the world though, but the youth has got a definitely bad issue with this. It's a bit of a challenge there. Internet tracking. Okay, the increased capability of large corporations to use customer databases and big data to analyze consumer behavior has led to concerns about privacy. The companies insist that such data is anonymous in many cases and is being used purely to better and um, to provide a better service, whereas campaigners um, suggest big faces corporations are creating big brother style databases of consumers without their consent. So ban tracking this sort of behavior is nothing short of creepy as well as posing a potential risk. Um, of identity theft for consumers. Companies have managed well enough all these years without tracking and storing information on every single decision a customer makes and can easily be uh, get by without it. People have the right to buy things without effectively being followed by digital spies wherever they go. Allow tracking. Opponents of, of internet tracking of internet tracking make it sound far more sinister than it is. All we are talking about is allowing companies to record accurate information on consumer preferences so they can make better products and target their advertising effectively. Something that is, um, is harmless and also essential to modern economy. There is no real cry um, for the government um, to intervene here. Warn uses bad tracking. Banning tracking goes too far, but it's important that citizens are aware when they are being tracked. Maybe a system of convenient pop-up windows when visiting a website that tell people they are being tracked is the best solution for everybody. I think we're going to just warn users. Excellent. That was a good outcome. Really a good outcome. Yeah, I think everybody does internet tracking. Yeah, I agree. Uh, we've got a pretty, our deficit is starting to pick up a little bit because of all the money we're spending. But I'm hoping we can make an impact on, on some of these other things. But yeah, we've, we've managed to drop our uh, debt quite substantially. And this, are we going to deal with that soon? Almost, almost. Okay, let's see if there's something else we can still also do to stimulate the economy. Business startup campaign, self-employed. Now let's do that. That's going to cost fairly minor amounts. And 
And then if we look at the taxes that we have available over here, I think we can up one of these to get a little bit more money to come in. So we're about 13 million there, a billion. Doesn't make a big impact apart from the very super wealthy here. So let's get the, get a bit of a rise over there. Let's apply that change there. See if there's anything else we can tax a little bit more of. Inheritance tax is still over here. I don't necessarily think we can do too much more there. I don't want to um, grab the wealthy too much at this point. Airline tax? Ooh, we can definitely up that even more. Yeah, I like that. Let's, uh, let's apply that. Okay, let's see where that leads us. Wow, we're still not getting anything good here. National team exits the World Cup uh, again. We've had this so many times, we just can't play football. Uh, we still have a deficit of about 4 billion over there. One of our major party donors is an idea. One of the major party donors is insisting that you placate them by implementing a specific policy, punitive tax on superstores. If you, you refuse to do this, they will abandon. Um, let's view the policy. Capitalist, GDP, self-employed, car usage, environmentalist, socialist. Uh, to a certain extent, it, it, is, it is working to some of our bases. And we do need an extra income, so let's do that. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, capitalists, environmentalists, let's do it. There we go. Okay, guys, well, I think uh, we've done a lot. Let's quickly have a look at what we've managed to achieve. Where did we end up on the spectrum over here? Ooh, we went, we went pretty into the corner here for a little bit, and then we came back um, away from the capitalist uh, a tad, but we ended up very much liberal and capitalist as I kind of expected we would. So we slowly, we started over here and we moved into this direction, um, and we pulled along with us the entire, um, the entire spectrum of people in Germany, we pulled them into this direction as well. A little bit more out into this area so we're, uh, we're pretty effective at moving us into this liberal capitalist area over here and we managed to keep the environment going a fair bit as well um voter types changes we've got a very high approval rating okay this is the other thing i wanted to quickly have a look at and see what were our key achievements as we went on okay so we'll slowly scroll through that i want to read them out again but yeah, there's a few that we did a good job on. Look at that GDP growth over there. It was really good. Car usage drop was excellent. Um, where did we end up with the environment? We did improve the environment, didn't we? Wow, 2.33% only. Equality, where did we end up with equality? Quality was, uh, was, was bad over here, right? Did we manage to bring that in a little bit? No, we ended up at roughly about the same spot. Okay, well guys, I am going to call it the end there. Thank you so much for joining uh, me on this last scheduled stream. Um, I will see you again in the future. Obviously, I'll keep doing the YouTube videos, um, probably at a, a reduced rate though. So I'll, I'll still uh, leave some, get some more information out there for that. But yeah, uh, we will do streams every now and again, but it won't be on a schedule anymore. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Thanks, thanks, Jano. Thanks for the compliment over there. Um, it's, a, it's a great game, and I'm keen to see it develop and them adding more countries and things like that. So Positik's been doing a great job on this. Um, so yes, anyway, thank you so much for coming out and joining the stream and for all the hydrates and all the chats and comments and, and things like that. I really enjoyed your inputs. So I will see you whenever next. Bye-bye.